Hello, in this video we're going to be looking at crafting your online syllabus. As we know, in a face-to-face -face course, the syllabus might be the most important document of the course. It's even more so when we're talking about the online world. You want to make sure that you're packing your syllabus with all of the information that you would usually give students on the first day of a class, and even more. In this module, we have a checklist to help you with that. You want to be thorough and clear on such things as what type of office hours will you be holding? Will there be in-person office hours, or will you just be meeting online, or is there um, maybe webinars that you're, you can um, have? Also, it's important for students to understand what your response time is. As we know, students usually expect an immediate response, and maybe they email you and they don't hear from you in three hours and they start getting nervous. So just let students right off the bat know that you know you usually respond within 24 hours or whatever you want to choose. The grade turnaround time also is a good idea so students do not have anxieties that their paper is lost somewhere in that internet world. It's also important that the students know what is the best way to reach you. Do you want to receive text messages? Do you prefer voicemail? Anything like that. Um, the minimum amount of tech needed. Do you require any kind of video recordings? Then students need to know that they need to have maybe a headset or at least a microphone. There's also important to show a link to the help desk because in an online course there is going to be some technical issues and you want to make sure that they're being addressed directly to the student and not that you have to answer a ton of email. It's also important to have what the netiquette is so that students aren't typing in an inappropriate manner. I personally will tell students that they need to write in full complete sentences and in proper English and not any kind of text speak. And if you are going to have any synchronous sessions, if they are mandatory, you need to put that in the syllabus so that students will be able to put that in their date book. Another thing is I have in this module examples of dynamic syllabi, which are a different type of syllabi that's more dynamic. They have course links in them. They have graphics and pictures. I like to give that to my students because I find it visually appealing, but it's also important that you have a plain text syllabus that is accessible for screen readers. And both of these uh, different types of syllabi are modeled in our course documents. Thank you.